Hi everybody, today we're talking a little bit about weights and sinkers again. In one of our previous videos we did have a nice little chat about all the different types of uh, sinkers that we use in South Africa and what the applications are for different scenarios. Recently we've uh, gone through our sort of spring season and which is our season where we do a lot of scratching the bricks, fishing for edible fish in the reef and a lot of new anglers on the beach come to us on a regular basis and ask us why we use certain types of um, sinkers when we're scratching the reef. So I'm going to focus on scratching or fishing in reef for fish like uh, bronze bream or cob or anything you're fishing in the reef for and the three main type of weights or sinkers we use in the reef and why I personally use them uh, and for what application. Right guys, so to start off with um, just to remind you, we're talking about scratching in reef. So this is purely reef fishing, not fishing on sand or sand and reef. I'm talking about fishing in reef for reef fish. So I've got a, a little bit of a rule of thumb when I fish in reef for my edible fish. I'm gonna focus specifically on bronze bream today because we've had a brilliant bron bronze bream season in South Africa. Uh, bronze bream is a nice little fatty reef fish. They feed in reef. You've got to fish in and on the rocks to get them. If you're not fishing reef, you won't catch them. So, the three types of sinkers that I use for scratching in the reef is our normal teardrop or bottle sinker. It's got no wires, it's just a smooth little sinker like that. Then we've got the grapnel sinker, but this one's got the plastic grapnel wires. So these little plastic grapnels will grab onto the rock. And then we've got our normal wire grapnel, which sits nice and firm in the brick. All right, so, what would I use these things for and under what conditions and for what application? So, as I said, this is my personal way I use it and I think a lot of other anglers also look at it in the same way. So, if I go to the reef and we're fishing in a sea that is very calm and flat, where the water is not washing much, um, there's, you're obviously looking for nice working white water, but it's, it's still flat and there's not much, much wash or anything in the water, I like to fish with this bottle sinker. And the reason I like to use this sinker in those conditions is that I can cast it into the area where I think the fish is. And if I lay for five minutes or so and I haven't had a bite, it's very easy for me just to wind it a bit, let it bounce on the rock and move it to a spot where I can feel it's getting stuck into a bigger rock or somewhere or move the sinker to where I want it and leave it again and wait for bite. So if there's no bite, it's easy to move it again. The nice thing about this is it doesn't get stuck easily and as I say, it's easy to move around. So on those quiet days where the water is very still, not much movement, I like to use this sinker here. Okay, so that is the application for my bottle sinker. Our next one is the plastic grapnel. So this sinker has got some pros and cons for me personally. Um, the one thing I really like about the sinker is the fact that you can actually take your side cutters and cut these little wires as long as you want them. Obviously, if they're long like this, they can hold more into the rock, and the shorter you make them, the less they can hold. So, when I use these, is in a sea which is not that strong. So, your bottle sinker would wash in a sea like this, but this one would hold. Um, so, it's it it'll hold in a strong sea, but also if you need to move it, you can lift it up, and you can move it a bit, and move it into a different area on the reef and try and get into the zone where the fish are. So this one I would use in conditions where the sea is strong but manageable, if I can explain it like that. Where when, I, when I lift it, it doesn't wash away off the reef onto the sand or out of the zone which I want to be. So I've still got to be able to manage it. The sea is not strong enough to wash us away because this one doesn't hold as much as a normal wire grapnel. The one thing I personally don't like very much about this um, plastic wire sink is that if I'm fighting a fish, the sinker keeps on getting stuck on the rock. So while you're fighting a fish, this is a lot of resistance because this doesn't trip, it stays tight. So every now and then the sinker gets stuck on the rock, so you've got to wait for a bit and work it out. It's not a big problem, but just something I personally don't like very much about these. Um, they also don't cast as well as your bottle and your grapnel because of the wind resistance on these thick wires. So if you're looking for distance, this is not the one you want to grab. Okay, so that is our plastic grapnel. And then we get to our normal wire grapnel. Um, and for me personally, this is the one I used in most cases. But um, 
it works in all scenarios and the way I set up my metal grapnels is I use a very soft wire say one of these arms gets stuck in a, in a rock it's very soft so it's easy to bend and then you can just bend it straight again afterwards so that for me is quite important to have a soft wire on these sinkers so I normally make my own sinkers and I use a very soft stainless steel wire for that what makes this very nice is those very very rough days when the fees sea is extremely strong and nothing wants to hold this sinker will hold and when we're scratching in reef often in those rough strong days is when the fish feed they like feeding in that churning water especially fish like bronze beam and, and reef fish that we like targeting in rougher conditions so that is the one advantage the soft wires they can sit in the reef the disadvantage of this is that if you want to move your sinker and it trips you often wash out of the zone so what I like to do with this is spot casting. I'll sort of find the area where I think the fish are and I'll place my bait and my sinker in that zone and I'll stay put. So I don't want to move it around too much. You can try and let it roll a bit on a flat reef, but on a very uh, sharp reef, the wire's going to trip and you're going to wash out the zone. So this becomes a bit technical when you're fishing um, or scratching with these type of sinkers. You have to do a spot cast, get the sink in the right zone but the nice thing is it'll sit and stay where it is so you can wait for your fish to come to your bait and pick it up it also casts very well because of the thin wires so if you need distance this is also a nice one to get a long throw with and not too much wind resistance on the sinker Okay, right, guys so another nice advantage of this wire grapnel is as soon as you've hooked the fish and you start winding in these wires if you set nice and soft will trip open like this and you're winding in the sinker with the wires down so the chance of getting stuck while you're fighting a fish is very very slim so this is where the bottle and the wire grapnel comes in when you're fighting a fish it's not easy for them to get stuck whereas the plastic wire can get jammed in the rock a bit and just make it a little bit more difficult to wind in your fish so the wires will trip like this you'll land your fish and then obviously your next cast you'll just flick them back up and you're ready to go Okay, so, so this is a very brief explanation of the type of sinkers I use in a scratching scenario, fishing in the reef. And um, I hope it will answer some of the questions we've been asked about what sinker to use in reef and help you next time you're fishing.